roadside assistance? It's time for the Pike Breakdown Lane on 100 FM, The Pike. We do it every Friday. We lovingly collect your messages from the week, commenting on anything we've been talking about during the show or anything else, really, your plugs, your your shout-outs, whatever it may be for the Pike Breakdown Lane. This is your space, and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. What's up there, shoe dog? How you oh, doing, guys? Hey. Listen, uh, I know the Patriots game isn't until Monday night, and I know you know that I know that, and I know that you know that I know that, but you know I'm also going to be thinking about the Pats game all weekend long until Monday night, right? It's just because, like, I've been having so much fun with the zappy fever, you know, like I got a confirmed case of it, and there apparently is no cure except for the return of the Mac. I saw Bill Belichick thinks, but the pursuit of zapping is it's been great, and I've been zappy if I knew it, and I have clapped my hands several times, you know. He's a whipper zapper, this kid, you know. Uh, I, I hope Mac does really well, and the Mac attack is back. Yeah, you know, maybe Belichick's right. I mean, what's this guy ever done? Won eight Super Bowls or something? So. All right, anyway, obviously I'm just nervously talking because I'm anxious about it. Have a nice weekend. I'm going to go drink myself to sleep. Go back. There he is. Your old pal Fitzy, maybe the biggest Patriots fan in the whole world. Thanks thanks for calling in, Fitzy. Appreciate that. Who should it be? I, I say they stick with Zappy. They've been doing pretty well. The chemistry's there. The team's uh, behind them. They're doing really well. Stick with Zappy. Sorry, Mac. I think they should stick with Zappy. Yeah, so I just heard the uh, Brew City commercial on the Pike and I don't know how long you guys have been running it, but I figured I would uh, chime in here and just say uh, Brew City's worth the hype. Do trivia Thursday nights, uh, hosted by the one and only Kevin Barbary. And uh, what Mike says in the commercial is true. The burgers are worth the hype. It's worth your time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go on a Brew City burger odyssey pretty soon here. Yeah, don't forget, Kevin Barbary uh, doing uh, trivia, the, the the great Kevin Barbary, man of a thousand voices and maybe even personalities Thursday nights. <laughs> at Bruce City. Mike Shue and the other guy. I heard the radio oh. station had to be evacuated the other day. Well, when asked what was going on, the building had this to say. Excellent use of Van Halen. Very nice. Yeah, we had a little fire alarm. I think that was Monday, maybe. It was there, I can't remember the past four days. Anyway, uh, yeah, and we all had to, like, evacuate during our shows, all the other stations up here, uh, and uh, out onto Commercial Street. Thanks for the Worcester Fire Department for coming by and checking on that. Apparently it was just a malfunctioning smoke alarm, but it was that old, that old question when you have to evacuate a building for a fire alarm or a fire drill. You're all standing out there, and I'm looking at my coworkers, you know. I'm looking at Chuck Perks and... And uh, Keith Stevens, I'm saying, do we go back in or we take off for the day? You know, you never leave high school. Donuts. Yeah. Um. Yes, that's right. We celebrated, when was that, Wednesday, the 105th anniversary of the first donut created by nurses working with the Salvation Army, which they uh, they fed it to uh, troops, U.S. troops in France during the First World War. And then I went out to, uh, to celebrate responsibly. I went out to Donut Homies at the Worcester Public Marketplace, and Haley there suggested I have their salted caramel swirl donut which i i've since had uh, dreams about every night is oj simpson um allowed to act in movies uh, i don't know if legally he can do that um because i don't know if you can have a naked gun movie without nordberg is that legal i don't know that's right we uh, adam adam webster did a story where liam neeson is going to be in a Naked Gun, not a reboot, I guess a sequel. He's going to play uh, Leslie Nielsen's character, Detective Frank Drebin's son, for a new Naked Gun movie. I love the Naked Gun movies. It's kind of hard picturing Liam Neeson, who's a serious uh, action hero and and actor, mostly serious roles, playing a a Drebin in the uh, Naked Gun movies. But yeah, there's Nordberg. Is OJ going to return for Nordberg? The original Nordberg wasn't OJ Simpson, though, if you go back to the Police Squad TV show. But yeah, interesting question. Yeah, Mike, um, did you uh, dig up those papers yet that uh, my dad had me bury in your basement? Because these zigzag papers I use now are, like, terrible. I need some of that old vintage paper. So once you get those dig up, let me know. I'll come and get him. 
If you hit that dead body, uh-huh. you just ignore it. Just look for the papers. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we were talking. I was, I'm, I'm into The Watcher. I'm watching that on Netflix. It's a great show. We talked about would you move into a house that had something terrible happen to it in the past, and then how here in Massachusetts anyway, uh, realtors not legally obliged to let you know about terrible things that happened in a house. And I told the story about when I moved into my house a few years later, the uh, son of the former owner, who was kind of a recluse, uh, he had buried some something in the basement. I tried to get it out of him on the phone. He wouldn't let me know. Finally, he gave up that. It was some kind of papers that his father thought were important, told me around where they were buried in a crawl space. I went down there and dug around for like five hours, couldn't find anything. So I just gave up. Um, people are saying that could be like tons of money or evidence in some kind of crime case or, or you know, evidence about the moon landing being fake or what. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm, and I've been worrying ever since that this guy is going to show up at my door. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. All right. Thanks for uh, all your messages for the Pike Breakdown Lane. I appreciate that. You can always call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, we'll never call you back and we won't sell your information because we just just don't know how. You can call the Pike Breakdown Lane 24 hours a day at 774-670-0231. We're here for you. Well, not really. Just leave a voicemail message.